Welcome, my name is Salim Clark and I am the Fellowship and Experiential Learning Advisor uh, at the Center for Career Development, CCD. And this is the Wildcat Ready series focusing on what can I do with this major? So our agenda is to talk about the career development process. We're going to delve a little bit into stage one, which is self-discovery or exploration. Stage two, which is career research. And the last part is understanding different pathways or possible pathways. So the career development process consists of five different stages. Stage one is self-discovery, exploration, where you're asking yourself, who am I? What am I good at? What do I want to do? Career research. Hmm, it sounds good. Maybe being a veterinarian or being um, a market analyst. Well, what does that really look like? Um, designing your career path. So what, what education do I need? What certifications do I need along the, along the way? Experiencing your field. So this could be in the form of informational interviews. This could be in the form of internships or any other kind of work experience or volunteer experience that you decide to engage in. And then launching your career. So putting your feet into the fire and saying, hey, this is what I want to do. Let me try it out. Let me see what this really looks like. Now, this stage, these stages aren't linear. So you can get to the experience your field stage where you're doing an internship or shadowing somebody and you realize, hey, this is not the field of profession for me or it's, it's not what I thought it was. And that you might find yourself right back at stage one. So it's not a linear process. Keep that in mind. And these are some of the questions you're going to ask yourself during this first stage of self-discovery exploration. You know, who am I? What do I like to do? What do I give to the world? What do I want to be in the world? Um, and what, what's the best fit for me that's going to align with everything that I am? Um, and what matters to me in, um, in the world of work? And, and that is a testament to your values or your value system. Um, Everybody values something different. Some people value money, some people value time, some people value um, um, being congratulated about their, you know, their accomplishments. And so it really depends on what you look for in a workplace, what you look for in a field. And then how do, you know, and, uh, two other questions that it kind of aligns with the ones we just spoke about. How do my career interests match my personality, values, interests, and skills? And in the career work environment, what is valuable to me? Like, these are serious questions that you should think about when you're, when you're thinking about potential careers um, that can help guide you. Um, finding out early, you know, how your personality and your values and skills and interests conflict with or align with um, your career interests career interest can save you a significant amount of money. Um, and there's no right or wrong. So recognizing what is important can help you decide what career interests fit you best. And when thinking about careers, these are some questions to ask yourself. Why am I interested in this occupation? What, like, what sparked this interest? What fulfillment would it give me? What, do I, when I come home from work, am I going to be fulfilled? Am I going to feel like I'm serving my purpose and doing what I really want to do? Um, how long do you see yourself in, in this career? Is this like a, a two-year plan, five-year plan, 10-year plan? Those are things to think about. And what does this look like? Like, what does this job actually look like on the ground? Um, and then jumping in to self-assessment, um, Head, head on is, is taking an interest inventory or an inventory that looks at your personality, values, skills, and interests, um, your interests versus aptitudes. So I'm really interested in this, but am I good at it? Or I'm really good at this, but I'm, am I interested in it? And, and sometimes those things can be conflicting and, and that might be something that you need to work out on your own. Um, so an assessment can't tell you exactly who you will be, what you will be, what job you'll get, but it can give you some insight into what some of your skills and your values and your interests, um, where they where they point you towards. Um, and the CCD offers three different career assessments. We have the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, which is the MBTI, Strengths Finder, and the Strong Interest Inventory. So you can make an appointment at any time on Handshake and schedule an appointment with a career advisor and, and suggest one of these um, assessments and we can get that rolling for you. 